So I have a health update video today and I wanted to tell you that throughout the video I am squinting my eyes a lot. It does get kind of annoying but the bright lights were really affecting the cataract in my eyes so so sorry for that but I hope you guys can still enjoy the video. Hey guys it's me Nikki for those who are following my health journey as I've been doing some health journeys every once to two months um, since I started committing myself to YouTube. This is for my personal entries to see where I'm at also with the journals that I'm doing I like to have things documented to see where I was and to learn and grow from it if you have been following it with me I'm gonna explain it if not this is probably isn't a video for you it's not cooking DIY or a challenge or anything like that so I understand if you don't want to watch this but for those who are struggling with some of the same issues as I am um, I hope this can help or if you can help me um, Say something on the comment below and I will love to read it or read your story. Since the last one was kind of crazy with me being in the hospital and I never gave an update on how the things that I was going to try are working now. So it's been going on three weeks since I was in the hospital because I had that allergic reaction to um, the allergy pill or yeah allergy pill and I have done that nasal thing um, and on my last review I was like eh, it's okay I'll see how it is I don't know if it's worth the $80 guys it has helped me tremendously I do it at least once or twice a week depending how bad I'm feeling but it does help it really clears up um, the stuffiness right here the itchiness um, I don't know it helps and I've been drinking dandelion tea and that's supposed to cleanse your liver and get rid of toxins and like pollen that you've ing um, ingested. I, I saw it on a YouTube video and thanks by the way for recommending me to different leaks. I did look at them and they have worked. So dandelion tea every single night. And I do that nose thing and then I've been trying, I tried Allegra. I don't, I don't know, I just really feel like nothing really is really working but I will say the allergies aren't as severe as they were and they're bearable and that's why you've seen me that's why you've seen me doing more cooking videos when you see a lot of cooking videos that means I'm feeling good I'm able to be there because when you cook you got to babysit the food I can't just let it on the stove and then leave you have to saute things you have to make sure you're not burning it you, just, you really got to put love into your food I was doing great yesterday I had I had a bit you know, like you feel like you went five step forwards and kind of fell back. I'm going through that. Um, this time it was with my blood sugars. Um, as some of you know, I have RH disease. Um, kind of like diabetes, not really. But um, a tough night. And I ended up, I was going to go to the hospital. But um, some paramedics that were sent to me because um, I called the ambulance because I thought I was going to pass out. They really just helped me, and one of them knew so much about all kinds of things. They're going to hook me up with some program to see if I qualify for it to help with anxiety as well. Since the last two pills that the doctor recommended to me, those ain't working either, and I've never taken anxiety meds. And now that I have tried it after suffering 13 years with anxiety and agoraphobia and panic attacks, um, it didn't work. They didn't work, so um, I don't know. Ever since my brother died, my body just flipped out on me. I don't know if my hormones changed. Um, what happened inside me? Something must have happened. It just triggered everything. I've become a mess. And I wanted to give you an update. I am writing in my little journal that uh, Chaotic Mom sent me that I decorated. And this really does help. I thought this was going to be an uplifting journal of me. Um, just really pushing myself and being more positive and it turned out i just wrote all my heart hurts that i'm going through um but it helps to write it out and i don't know some scriptures that i love that have helped me through this time i'm just writing my feelings my thoughts and scriptures and it it's helping and i'm sad because today is my last page um it wasn't enough pages to do the whole month of july so I'm going to have to go buy more of these and um, continue. It, it helps. It helps to release it and write it instead of putting it out there on Facebook and having everybody judge you or 
talk about you for putting your stuff out on there. I do like to write on Facebook though because I like how it does the memories and I can see where I was. Everything's documented. But things that I can't share on my social media, it's good to share. At least it helps and it's here and I can go back and look. So, I don't know. Trying to stay positive through everything has been hard. There's good days, there's bad days. Sometimes I just want to cry and give up. And then others, I'm like pushing myself. And I don't let those sad points where I want to give up last long. I talk myself out of it really quick. I pray, I talk to God. And God has been there for me. He'll send somebody or talk to my heart, talk to my spirit, talk to my mind. And I'm so thankful for that because he continues to give me strength every single day. But it just sucks when you have health issues and it just takes a part of you, a big part of you, of who you are and goals and stuff. It gets in the way. Health issues get in the way of your goals, of your desires. So... It can get depressing, so I don't know. If you're going through anxiety or blood sugar problems, blood anything, whatever it is you're going through, um, just try to stay positive. Every day, you never know what it's going to bring. It can be good. It can be bad. It can be a breakthrough. You just never know. I'm just always having hope because I've been through so much, and I have seen amazing breakthroughs. I've experienced it, so I'm like, if it's happened before, it can happen again. So that's what I tell myself and doing the natural thing. I am doing the teas. I didn't stick to the um, anxiety. I mean the uh, allergy one or the they have a, a anxiety pill too at the natural store. I haven't tried those yet because I've been trying. I've actually been trying to trust a doctor because I never have in my life. I'm like, I got to do something different because obviously what I'm doing isn't working. So on my part, these pills ain't working. I just got to find something that's working for me. But in the meantime, I'm just going to try to lay off of pills, kind of detox my body, get away from it, and then try the natural thing um, and see if I get approved or qualify for the program. I mean, I don't know. I got to I gotta keep trying. I know I need to change my diet. That is what's going to change my life. But I just got to find the right regimen for what my body's going through because I have been trying to work with different meal prep um menus and i have made them and they didn't work out for me so i gotta find the right regimen for my body as it's what it's going through for right now but that's my update guys i'm hanging in there but since the last time it, it has been better i can say there's more better days than there was bad days that's a good thing to say because out of a week i would only have one to two good days now out of a week i'm having I was having one bad day and now I'm having two to three so it doesn't matter I'm grateful for the good days and I'm hopeful that things are going to get better and remain remain positive so I don't know I just wanted to share that hopefully in my next video I'll have even better news than then than today um but that's it for right now so I don't know well if you're following my health journey this is what it's about Thank you guys for your thoughts and your prayers and your messages that you send me on my social media. I, I really appreciate it. You guys have a blessed one and I'll see you on the next one.